Joy Bravo 4 radio check. Loud and clear. Fantastic. Bravo 4 is heavy, requesting 70 knot speed. You got it. All right. Taking off out of Nephi. 500 kilometer state record attempt. Fairly heavy crosswinds. Take off with my spoilers open, so that way I have a little bit more airflow over the ailerons. Bravo 4 is tight. Nephi traffic glider Bravo 4 ready for takeoff on 17 Nephi. I didn't read you on that one. Bravo 4 ready for takeoff. Okay, spoilers are in and locked. I'm now coming up to thermally flat. And I want to stay behind the tow plane. Okay to climb. Roger. Cable were to break, I'd land straight ahead. If it were to break now, I could turn around and do a 180. So Travis is the tow pilot that uh, flew on the uh, video that I have of a uh, you know scary slow tow. He was uh, fairly new at towing and uh, new to the the tow plane. I, I mean, as you can see, he's just dead on. He, he's doing a great job now. But it's funny, as of this uh, time, that uh, that video has two and a half million views of uh, people watching him and me try to get up into the sky too slow and kind of wallowing around. A lot of the people don't really know what's going on, so they actually just make uh, funny comments of me playing with my stick. Anyway, you'll have to check out that video. Okay, so the state record for the 500 kilometer triangle is uh, right around 85 miles an hour that I'm trying to beat. And so uh, 500 kilometers is the equivalent of 311 miles so you know if I do it at, right at about 100 miles an hour I should be just a little bit over three hours on task I start on my last leg of the triangle you don't have to start at a corner so that way I can keep the whole triangle just a little bit closer to uh, to, to where I take off from
finally not horribly smoky down here, which is nice. We've had all of these uh, wildfires in California that's really kept us from doing too much the last month. Alright, I'll need to remember there. Okay, I'm off. Roger. There we go, the gear's up. 10 knot thermal, all right, thank you. You betcha. I need to climb. course as soon as possible. center. So it's a windy day showing the wind is blowing from the southwest at 25 knots and that's what was predicted so it's not a surprise but what that means is I'm gonna have a really good tailwind on my last leg and it's good enough that I should be okay um, when I'm flying on the, the, the ridge I should be able to get ridge lift Climbing 600 feet a minute on average. So what's good about this is that it shows that uh, even though it's a windy day, thermals are not blown apart. So we should have a good time. It 
So the wings are full of water so that way I can glide faster if it's uh, at the same glide ratio. And uh, because the lift is predicted to be really strong today, it, uh, it doesn't affect my climb that much. See, so, you know, I'm still averaging five, 600 feet a minute. If I didn't have the water, you know, I might be climbing 100 feet per minute more, but then I wouldn't be able to cruise as fast, especially when it's a windy day to be able to penetrate into the wind. It's super important to be able to do that, have that. Okay, I can feel it's stronger here. So I just did a little correction. You can see I just went straight for just a second, but I think I'm in a stronger core now. So this glider is a 15 meter high performance racing sailplane called an ASW 27. Glide ratio is about 48 to 1 at its best glide and its maximum speed I can fly is right around 185 miles an hour. So I mean it's a high performance machine. To put that into perspective, you know, what, what does 185 miles an hour mean? A skydiver who is falling falls at only 120 miles an hour. Yet this will glide forward at a at 185 maximum so pretty neat and then when I'm uh, you know up high and I've got a tailwind I've seen I've seen as high as uh, 200 miles an hour ground speeds in this thing so really fun so here's my altitude I took off the airport elevation 5,000 feet I got off 7,000 feet and I've already climbed now 3,000 feet Just coming up on 10,000. So because of uh, airspace restrictions, like, you know, for airliners, stuff like that, I need to stop at uh, 17,999. I, I can't go above that without uh, permission from air traffic control. I can get it, but it's just not necessary to bother them. I'm happy to stay below 18,000. So that's the direction I'm going to want to go on my first climb or on my first leg to get to the first turn point. And I'm going to get a little distracted right now. I need to do a couple of things.
Buddy Bruno up here, flying with you live out of Nephi. It is a gorgeous windy day out of Nephi, Utah, and uh, just about to start a uh, 500k triangle attempt. So I'm declaring it to you guys. Um, the, wind, the smoke is finally gone, and here I'll, I'll go. Uh, Let's see, here's the other, here's what's looking out front. So if you look, beautiful day. So, and by the way, that right there, that cloud right, let's see, where I can't see. <laughs> that cloud right there, I'm gonna take my next thermal underneath that. So I'll use that to climb up to, uh, uh, probably going to start the task at around 13, 11, 12, I don't know, 13,000 feet, and then it should be fun. So it's fun to see I've already got uh, ah, a couple of you guys flying with me. So, yeah, this is going to be a double recording because uh, I'm, I'm going to record the flight as well. So, again, just wanted to uh, say hi to everybody. Hope you're having a great Sunday. And, uh, I'm, I'm having a really fun fun day so far. So luckily, uh, even though it was so windy, it wasn't that hard to, to get up. So the lift looks like it's going to be good. So, hey Chris, says that you were sorely tempted. Well, tell you what, you missed out, dude, because it's, it's going to be a good day. So, all right, well, I'm at uh, 9,200 and I got to get focused. But uh, here, check this out. Look at the wing. So I'm climbing right now at a thousand feet per minute talking to you guys. And uh, it's really hot in here because I got my vents closed so you guys don't hear all the, all the noise. So it's fun. It's like, uh, hey Aaron, it's fun to see that you're watching. So I've got uh, 16 of you live up here in the cockpit with me. Kind of fun. One more time. Let's. See there the Varios. So fun stuff. Well I gotta pay attention because I gotta get going. It's almost two o'clock and I still have over 300 miles to fly. So hey, fun to fun to have you with me live and uh, we'll see you when we land. Take care. kind of fun <laughs> so you take a video of me taking a video all right time to get serious though now Okay, so the way that it works is I'm allowed to lose um, a thousand meters between start and finish, which is 3,000 feet. And so, um, and the finish line is really close to the airport, so I don't really have to be all that high up. Look at this, I'm, I'm thermaling at 70. Oh, that's because I'm not even in a thermaling flat. Jeez. All right. I was gonna make a hypoxic joke, but I'm not wearing my oxygen. So, by the way, we wear oxygen because we get up so high. You know, we're, we're pretty much wearing it above 10,000 feet. 
oxygen is cheap and brain cells are expensive. Okay, oxygen system's on. All right, I'm gonna climb, let's see. I'm gonna start right at around 11,000, my task. So I'm gonna climb to about 12, which will give me room to, uh, to you know, to kind of dive through the start gate. Start gate is only about uh, a couple miles that way. Boy, this is looking really promising. So I just wanted to, to check on TFRs. There is one TFR, but I am going to stay to the south of it. So no big deal at all. And, and during record flying, I'm allowed to overfly TFR. I just have to be over it. I'm going to say just one more turn. I really want to get started on this task. Yeah, I'm a little bit further away than I thought. I'm four miles away. Should. I really should climb just a little bit more. So that's exactly the direction of the task. Uh, I'm getting impatient. D5 traffic jump line 09 Bravo, two miles southeast of D5 airport. 8,700, northbound, climbing 147, Got of operations over the airport, 147, below, approximately 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and then, you know, I'm going to want to climb higher than what I just barely did, but again, just managing how high I need to be to finish.
a little wisp of a cloud. I'm gonna go over there. Maybe I can climb in it. Quickly, so I'm sure it's going to have some really good lift. Everything is looking perfect. My course line, there's beautiful clouds. There is some high cirrus, but I think I'll be able to get in and out before it affects where I'm going to be flying. that the strongest part of the lift is still out in front of me just from the direction of the wind and where the cloud is there we go start my turn What's nice is that I'm going to go dive through the start line and go then straight for 
that cloud, get instant awesome climb. Okay, so I'm going to be starting right around 2, finishing, you know, 5.15ish, which is still a strong part of the day, so awesome. Let's do this. Let's start this thing. So on my dive, I'll only take it up to about uh, 125 knots because I am up uh, at altitude. There's no reason to go too crazy and overspeeding the thing. So making my choice, I'm actually going to go to those clouds. Instead, I started at 11,400. making such a radical turn is just because I think there's a lift line just over here a little bit. All right, 11,400, 10, 9, 8. So I've got to end at least 8,500. All right, see, if you look now, I'm a little bit to the right of course line, but now I've got a nice cloud streak to follow of lift. My ground speed's 137 knots, which is uh, probably right around 155 miles an hour. So unless I get really low or 
I'm going through like a long blue hole or something, I really have to be staying above 100 knots indicated when I'm in cruise or else I'm just flying too slow. So that's one of the things that I keep catching myself doing is allowing myself to just fly too slow. And part of that is, you know, hunting for thermals, that kind of stuff. I mean, you can you can feel a thermal so much better at even 90 knots than you can at, at 100 or 100, and, you know, right now I'm at 105. my big cloud. six knots. I think this thing actually has more to give. I just don't want to be greedy. That felt good. Just a little recentering. Affirmative, you want to switch to 1233? Let's go. Bravo 4 is here. Hey, how are you? I'm doing okay. Kind of trying to hear the big sound. Kind of getting a little time. You able to climb okay? Uh, it's not anything really good. I'm not going down. All right, I was able, you know, between you and the antenna on the ridge, I caught a eight, eight knotter all the way up to uh, start height. So uh, there is good climbs. Yeah, the thermals are good. They're not blown apart. What direction are you going first? I'm going to Schofield Reservoir. Affirmative. So I'm going to just stay south of it and uh, I'll stay high. Okay, I'm going to close up and I'll try to catch you. All right, sounds good. Okay, good. Uh, did you ask me a question? Yeah, are you on the north side? Affirmative. I'll do my best. Junction. So you can uh, cut me off at the ridge and then we can fly together. All right, you get your climb.
Alright, I'm still I'm still averaging 5.4, but I think that there's better. So I'm gonna go explore a little bit. See even that is stronger. So this is all about both patience, but also not putting up with subpar thermals when there's better. And I've caught myself doing that many a time. See, so I'm still, you know, four, four and a half, five knots, but I still believe that there's better. And I've got the height that I can explore. slowly through jump. So I'm on course line going this direction. wanting to do something. I keep uh, touching over here, this is my flap handle. So high performance sailplanes often have flaps that we use. And most people think of flaps of just for takeoff and landing, but with uh, gliders, we, we thermal really slow. So, you know, of course we're in, uh, you know, lower flaps. But also we go, when we go fast, we put flaps into the negative position. So instead of flaps going down, they're going up and that allows us to go faster with less drag. Yeah, this is good, come on. Anything over seven knots is gonna be good. Plus, again, I'm getting blown in the right direction towards my first turn point. So gliders do have trim. So I have a, I have a lever here that relaxes the trim and then I have a fine tune on my left hand that I can use to uh, set the trim where I want it to go. By the way, 
way, this is my G, so I'm pulling 1.8, 1.7 Gs in this turn. You know, because I'm turning, you know, this is more than 45 degree. It's probably about a, you know, 55 degree bank angle turn. If I don't hit it soon, I'm gonna leave. I might be kind of playing in rotor. That should not be a surprise. planning on turning but this is a good lift that was for a second. Alright back to cruise. We got up to 14,000 feet. Averaging right now 71 miles an hour on task. And you know, a lot of this first part was climbing. So I'm actually pleased with that. I'm I'm doing okay. I mean I'm gonna you're gonna see I'm gonna pick up speed significantly in the next little while. Average speed on course. Got good clouds ahead of me. Good tailwind. We're doing good. All right. Remember what I said about needing to be a hundred knots. Well, unless I'm in strong lift, I've gotta be. Come on. I've gotta be above a hundred knots. It's weird because I mean it's so easy to fly a hundred knots and I mean it's not like the glider nose is pointed straight down it's just for whatever reason you just got this conservation mode built into you if you're a glider pilot that you have to overcome it's like you just want to instinctively stay up high Now I am going to need to climb, I would like to get to 14 or 14.5. I'm 20 miles away from my first turn point. By 
by the way, you notice how I set my dive nice conservatively low because I ended up hitting 100, I don't know, 40 knots instead of that 125, like I said, because I was looking at other things and speed builds up so quickly in these things. So, you know, I gave myself a little bit of uh, margin room is exactly for that. I mean, I really should have. I mean, it was no problem, but I really did want to pull up at 125, and there I see 140. It's like, you know, give yourself margins because you screw up. So, you know, I screwed up on my plan. This glider was easily able to handle that, but I screwed up on my plan. My average speed's now already 85 miles an hour. My goal, I don't know if I've mentioned it, I'd really love to get 100 miles an hour on this task. I think I can get it. Today, I don't know. Doable, but for me, doable, I don't know. We'll just do the best we can. But I feel very confident that I can beat 85. I mean, I can easily find three and four knotters. I'm trying to find, be picky, selective, I guess is a better word, and find better.
come on. I'm going to go 90 degrees off course. But this is a crucial climb. so far. You know, that was a painful little detour, but I had to take it. Because of this detour, I've lost 10 knots. I'm already down to 75 knots average, but that's okay. I got a lot of flight left. Let's 
changed, I still have that 2,000 feet I need to climb. this right. I've got to be patient. I really do. Even though I so badly just want to keep going on course. There's a safety factor as well. With such a strong wind blowing, I need to be high enough that I can then make it back flying into the wind if I can't find any lift. Because, I mean, this is all unlandable nastiness. Bravo 4, go. Bravo 4 is uh, between you and Schofield climbing through 13 2. Negative, between you and Schofield, halfway. Bravo 4 is 5 miles to the west of Schofield. All right, sounds good. Ah, oh, this has just been painful. The, the, you know, the only good news is that you know, with the wind as strong as it is, I've been blowing 30 miles an hour in the correct direction with the air mass, if that's any kind of a consolation prize. But again, I, I really need to be smart about this and just allow myself to keep climbing. You know, and the climb's gotten better. I'm now climbing at 500 feet a minute instead of the two or 300. Clouds are looking. I should be. See, average is now sixty nine miles an hour. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Bravo for? Yeah, same TFR, so you want to stay to the south of Schofield. And uh, it's a straight line from Schofield heading west. Affirmative. Good practice, huh? Oh my gosh, it's like a whole new set Bravo 4 is now uh, southbound, diving for the front ridge. We'll be uh, running the ridge down to, you know, a little bit uh, south of Manti. Okay, 
What's your altitude? Did you say one five? Ah, very nice. Yeah, my guess is is that this uh, this section of the ridge, it might be a little bit quicker to run the ridge line than it is to try to thermal and go down. Yeah, I got you. Bravo 4 is 9 miles out from Schofield. I'm looking. I'm at 11.6. Uh, Alright, but aren't you at 1.5? Yeah, I'm headed right towards that parking lot. A lot higher than me. I'm looking, I don't see you. I'm just coming up on the parking lots right now. Okay, I'm directly over the parking lots, only about a thousand feet above them. So I'm diving down onto the ridge. Yeah, I see you on my uh, power floor. Oh, interesting. Do you have a transponder though? All right, well, I'm uh, southbound on the ridge now, uh, south of that parking lot. I don't know. Um, I'm at 10,300. All right, I gotta concentrate. Belts on nice and tight. For exactly that reason.
kind of fun. Turbulence. <laughs> Just did a turbulence video. It was nowhere near as hard as that turbulence. Bravo 4 is 96 miles out from Junction. I'm statue. I'm right down on the rocks, so I can't spend a lot of time looking for you. Sorry. making sure I can make it over this, uh, this saddle. Because 
because I would lose a ton of time if I have to suddenly go all the way out down the canyon. Bravo 4 is now 90 miles from Junction. What are you? All right, gotcha. Do you see this big kind of tabletop plateau that uh, is pretty much just all grass? It has some heavy equipment on the north side of it on the road. I'm just passing it now. So the decision I'm trying to make now is do I keep going straight? And this is helping me to make my decision if I can keep climbing.
down there is where I'm going to do my climb. Back up to uh, 83 miles an hour average speed. Right here it says that the wind is only at uh, uh, 20 knots. This is the area where I did my, my video where I talked about turbulence and I was way back there. See, I was good. I, I, didn't, I didn't go back there again. I, I'm staying out on the front. Stay away from the lee side nastiness. Alright, so I'm going to have to get a good climb to get over that saddle. Not this one, but on the back of that next canyon. I'm going to probably do some S-turns when I'm in the heavy lift here. Bravo 4 has made pretty good time on the ridge. How's it been up high? Yeah, you're extremely broken. I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding you. How can you, can you understand me okay? Yeah, unreadable. I'm going to climb, or try to climb. Seventy-seven statute miles. I'm coming up on a cloud that I'm going to try to make a climb. Gotta go fast. 
faster. somewhere around here I can make my climb. not climbed so far. This is a, one of those key cruiser climbs that if I can somehow do like a seven knot climb here. I'll say that all the time though. Climb. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to thermal. Give me a second. Brahma 4 is five miles north of Mount Baldy. Does that help?
wonder why it's so broken. I'll put this down, see if that's maybe somehow affecting his transmission, if that's garbling it. I copy. Yeah, I copy you uh, five by five. All right, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, how is it uh, over there with uh, the uh, bus? Uh, I'm in the side of the uh, You got a lot of rain heading your way over there. I went south until I got into the rain. And now I'm headed west right to the desert. And it was just running. It looked like it's getting yeah, I'm parallel with that, so I'm going to pass by that rain and, and then go by the south of it. So it's no factor. All right, sounds good. Gotcha. Is it possible that you have an air vent blowing on your microphone? No. Uh, Kilo 4, how does uh, York sound on the radio? All right, Bravo 4 is 67. Oh, I gotta keep going.
time in this. Come on. Let's go. Let's play. You got anything for me? Come on. Uh, is that a rotor? you are, but if you're lift, I'll play in you. Not climb. clouds are going to give me the lift that I need. I don't want to go back into those. It's a little bit too far away from the valley.
55 miles from Junction. your altitude. Yeah, I'm 8,700. 
Yeah, this is kind of tricky. It's very tricky. It's very bad for the Thank you. So I am actually directly over the uh, highway that's heading east, coming out of the uh, out into the valley. I'm about two miles away from the valley. Gunnison Airport available. It's only a 11 to 1 glide ratio to get there. to 7,000 feet, I'll dump my water.
got 250 feet before I start dumping my water. Uh, all right, I'm uh, about 10 miles to the south of it and uh, 7,200, so I may, I've got final glide into Salina as well. We both might uh, end up there. I'm dumping my water. <laughs> oh man, this was not what I expected. I see you're way high. Yeah, I'm a little Yeah, I'm at uh, 6,400, so I've got final glide to Salina Gunnison, but uh, I'm still hoping to get a saving thermal, but I don't know. Yeah, on my uh, downwind for landing. <laughs> My goodness, did we get flushed. Jeez. Yeah, I'm a thousand feet AGL, so I'm basically on an extended downwind. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm a 
You know, I appreciate that. Um, you know what? I actually, it's okay to put it in the trailer. I'm probably not going to be able to fly for the next month. Hey, th thanks for the offer. No, no need. I'll just trailer it. Uh, yeah, anybody can come. Hey, you know, I need to concentrate. Negative on the arrow to retrieve. Okay. I hear Bruno thing is really good for a tow, uh, a ground tow, first time. Uh, I hear it again. Bruno, do you want Travis to come to you in your car? Affirmative, hey, I need to concentrate. I'm trying to do one last ditch uh, thing and then I'm entering the pattern. Let me land so I can give him instructions. Well, look at this. <laughs>
down. Negative, gear is only down. Alright. No more plan. Time to land. safe. I got flushed. <laughs> oh man. Hmm. All right. That was a surprise. Thanks for flying. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. Bye.